Eight animals. Is it too windy? Might be too windy. Uh, we're going to talk about something today that nobody ever really likes to talk about, and that's water inside your pond and how difficult it is to get out of there. Uh, we get a few leaks throughout the season, we got to pump them out, but they're a pain in the butt to pump out. Uh, some pontoons, they build them with a drain hole in the back, so you can just undo the drain hole and all the water comes running right out. But these pontoons are not like that. But they do all come with a vent hole uh, in the top somewhere. So the Sweetwater pontoons, and most of them have these little pressure testing plugs here. They're not really drain plugs. Um, so you've got this little tiny three quarter inch hole that you can use to pump stuff out of, which isn't a whole lot of room to work. We've got Master Tech Gavin back here. And what we do is we take a uh, wet dry shop back. We've got a piece of hose on it. We take and run that through a series of adapters uh, to put it onto a fern co fitting. Right now we're gravity feeding and this, this pontoon out. But to get the gravity fed started, we put it on the shop back like that. We fish this little hose right down inside one of those pressure testing ports there. Um, we end up taking and melting a piece of uh, copper or brass inside there to give it a little bit of weight. All right, Danimals, so when you're pressure testing your pontoon, it is key to never let this little bugger get up over two or three PSI. But any higher than that, they say if you go to four or five, there's a chance you can go ahead and just blow the pontoon up. Shrapnel will blow all over everywhere. Um, serious injury. So always low pressures. Got another one? So we got Gavin back here. Gavin back here testing for leaks. We found one in the front. And it looks like we got some bubbles in the back too. Now we're just gonna kinda scrape together some marine techs on these guys right now. So they'll stop taking in water, get us through the last little bit of our season. But the plan is to mark these areas so that we can drop the pontoon and take it to our welder and have our welder do a more permanent repair. Uh, some doublers, fish plates as they call them, whatever he thinks is the best thing to do. Um, but these pontoons are a pain in the butt to weld on just because of the location. Like it's usually like up under in here. Oh, Gavin's found two more. We're planning on just dropping the whole daggone pontoon, taking it to the guy and having him check it out. See what else Gavin's found. We got a little leak in here. Same kind of area here, right at the back of the transom. So. Uh, so we'll do that now, and then we'll uh, uh, see if Gav can check and make sure there's nothing in the other side. So we'll go ahead and pump out the other side while we're at it. So that's what we're doing.